Uh oh. We got another one of these fuckers. Well, okay, I, yeah, I probably should just kind of try to get around them. As opposed to shooting them. I'm really concerned as to how this is going to end. Uh, no, don't shoot. Don't shoot. No, I'm seeing something here. It might just be a boulder. Or not a boulder, but a I don't know, big rock. That was random. Jesus Christ, this is taking forever. There's a... Oh, okay. Can we, let's go faster. The baby. You okay? Where's the kid? Jane, where is he? What did you do? He's. What are you saying? Oh, Jesus no. Christ, he's gonna lose it. No! No, not again. See what he really is. Do you just kill a baby to prove a point? Oh, you're in some deep shit, lady. Jane, get out of here. Clem, now! Get out of my way. Penny? How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him! It was an oh, accident, shit. Kenny! I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. We can't kill each other. Not after all this. We're all that's left. Stay out of this, Clem. Clem, stay back. God fucking damn it. I know what's gonna happen. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get the fuck off! Fuck you! <laughs> Stop! Please! Let go! Jane! Oh my god! This is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Just go! I ain't going nowhere! This is on you! 
Oh shit. I didn't realize this was time. Fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? God damn it! Jesus Christ, Kenny. made it. We were close, weren't we? <coughs> I thought I wanted this. Asked for it. So many times. Now that it's happening, I'm scared. <coughs> I'm afraid, Clem. It's okay, Kenny. You're, you're going to see Kutch and Duck. You're going to see them again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. What the fuck? You fucking bitch. I know exactly what she fucking did. Okay? God damn it. He's alive. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just... going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I didn't think Kenny would go that far. But it's over now. Upset. You're fucking crazy! How could you do this? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. So you put AJ in danger, and got my friend killed, just to prove a point? It was a stupid... I should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my god! Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. Just leave all this behind us. We're free now. I forgive you, Jane. I'll explain my reasoning for that in Thank a minute. You. 
Thank you, Clem. You were right about Kenny. All along, you knew what he was gonna do. It's over now, Clem. Let's just put all this behind us. That ain't fucking happening, I'll say that much. Okay. The reason why I did it this way, the reason why I decided to forgive Herb is because, logically, it would be fucking stupid to go out in the cold like this as a child alone. Alright, I, I feel like it was too, too clean to forgive her that quickly, just like that. But it was probably the smartest, it's definitely the smartest thing to do. You know, working with people you don't like is better than working alone. In this sort of situation, at least. Especially if you have a f fucking infant. Can't see much from here. Come on. I don't... I don't know how you were able to watch that. It got me hard. Let's keep moving. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. The greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. Clem. Come on. They don't look armed. Is this your place? It's big. Quiet. Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Huh. <laughs> Where you girls been? Why do you care? Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Everywhere. All over. You, uh, been up north? Yeah. Yeah, us too. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Yeah, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. <laughs> Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things. But I'm asking you, as a father, please... Don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. It could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? Please. We'll die out here. Just give us a chance. Give us a chance to prove ourselves. Come in. Fuck it, why not? Thank you. Around the side. It's the, it's the finale, anyway. I'm not going to suffer any repercussions for at least another six months. You sure about this? Nope. This place is a mess, and I don't know how long that food will last. It'll take a lot of work. I'm not sure about anything anymore. It's not much. But we'll make it better. Just keep your eyes on him. I'll be fine. My name's Patricia. Jane. Thank you, Jane. Don't mention it. Thank you so much. Of course.
苦海。Yeah, thanks. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, well, that was The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5, the finale. Oh, God. Emotional roller coaster, dude. Alright, well, um, I guess a couple things that, that I've, I noticed in this episode that I, that I found kind of interesting. You know, at the very beginning, it was very obvious. It wasn't necessarily foreshadowing. But I'm pretty sure the writing was trying to make it clear to you, yeah, you're going to have to make a choice with Kenny. And uh, obviously I did. Um, and I think it was probably the best choice and the choice the writers had in mind. And, you know, it's, 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 hmm. I, I just, I have so many, like, thoughts going through my mind at the same time. It's just, I'm just, like, turning into fucking mush. Um... You know, Kenny proved through even in season one that throughout the entire time he was just progressively falling apart. You know, and by, and I, I really think that once Katja and Duck died, that was really the moment. That was the switch that pretty much ruined him. And uh, even before that, there were signs of like, yeah. I mean, at first it seemed like he was assimilating to the society around him. And it was actually almost as if, yeah, he's a survivalist. This is good. But at the same time, as it went on, it seemed almost as though his humanity was, you know, falling apart. And that he was really starting to um, become destroyed by the circumstances that he found himself in. Uh, do I think necessarily that he, a lot of the decisions he made were what was necessary? Yes. But at the same time you have to take into consideration there were other choices he made that were completely emotionally charged and were not logical. Um, which, you know, is easy to kind of, like, fall prey to and not understand that that is what was happening. But, you know, with wanting to head north, that was fucking dumb. That was legitimately dumb. You know, that whole pipe dream of going to uh, whatever the fuck town it was. I guarantee you, and I'm, I'm gonna look this up afterwards, I guarantee to you the place, this, 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 um, you know, safe haven was either just, uh, you know, run down and destroyed or, or, or it was over, you know, it was overpopulated or it, or something to where you couldn't, you know, you couldn't access it. So it, it's irrelevant. You know, it was completely irrelevant and you should have realized that going North is stupid. It's too fucking cold. And Jane's idea was way smarter just in the end. So, uh, knowing all this, just if Kenny was allowed to keep going, he would have, he would have fallen apart and he would have been destroyed. Um, you know, so that having been said, uh, you know, I don't like that I had to kill Kenny. It, like, emotionally it sucks, uh, because he was one of the originals, obviously. Um, but it, I think it was a necessary thing, and honestly, it's rather poetic. The more I, and more and more I think about it, it was quite poetic the way that, that it went down, because this is now, at least for my storyline, this is the second person, um... The second most, you know, the two closest people that Clem has been to since all this shit went down, she is killed. Like, just let that sink in. Like, that's really fucked. You know, that's a really fucked thing to do uh, to have to do as a as a <laughs> a twelve year old or however however old she is. You know, she had to kill Lee, um, or at least my my Clem did. She killed Lee, and now she killed Kenny, and that's just fucking heartbreaking, dude. You know, the two people that she trusted and cared for most, she shot. And, uh, that's a really, really heartbreaking and interesting thing to do with a character, um, who's still growing up on top of that. Um, so, even though this, this last episode was very emotionally charged and there were so many things happening, it was so 
you know, um, overwhelming. Uh, I'd have to say it was it's probably my favorite episode of all of the Walking Dead seasons, you know, and even with all that choice stuff, take that out of it, the storyline itself, I love. That's one thing I will always give the Walking Dead games credit, even though a lot of the time it doesn't feel like a lot of the choices you make have any weight. Um, the story itself and the writing is excellent, and I and I really appreciate a lot of the characters. Uh, season two, um, going into it, going into episode one of season two, you know, I think it was back last December, um, I was very skeptical and I was worried because, you know, playing as this little girl as the protagonist had, you know, it could have easily turned to shit. And that would have been, you know, terrible, obviously. I didn't love season one like a lot of other people did. I liked it a lot. But season two really got me into it. Season two has was fantastic. I, I genuinely uh, loved season two. Um, you know, it was, it, was a, it was a great story that it told. And um, the progression of Clem's character was fantastic. Truly fantastic. Uh, and I think that there's plenty of room to grow and go on from here. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely, definitely happy with The Walking Dead Season 2, and especially Episode 5, even though, you know, um, Kenny died, which sucks, it fucking sucks, it really does, especially after that really emotional reunion from Episode 2, you know, it's just such a bummer, and on top of that, Luke died, which, I, Luke was really coming close to being my favorite character, he really was, I felt like there was... There was so much left to him that you didn't know, and that they could have expanded upon. But, um, you know, the, the way he went out would, would definitely was kind of, um, I don't know the right word, but it just felt like it just kind of snapped. Like, there, it, was just, it was just cut off before it should have been. Uh, not in a bad way, though. Like, like, that's how life is, you know? Just, like, you never expect that person to go, and then they go. And that's kind of how I felt with Luke. Um, whereas Kenny's was more of a storyline, dramatic sort of thing. Uh, Luke kind of just went out. He just kind of just died. Whereas Kenny's was like this really big explosion of drama. Um, just wow. Just I, I really, oh God. Fantastic. Truly fantastic. Um, that's about all I have to say, I think. Uh, definitely this season has won me over and I'm very excited for season three now at this point. Um, so, yeah, I guess with that having been said, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys next time.